everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing the final physical steps on this stone wall here. Now later on there'll be steps of you know putting on maybe tongue oil or something to seal it and bring out the color, but in terms of the concrete, I'm finishing it up today. There's a little bit more to get up in here, kind of filling in some of these uh, cracks here, and then down at the bottom there's some voids that I need to fill as well. But before I get into that, I've been using this tool here, a wire brush, which I, I haven't been using prior for a very good reason. Uh, it had been lost. It had been in my toolbox, which I looked through several times and looked straight through it and just didn't see it even though I was looking for it. But I finally found it. It's a perfect tool for this because I really want to get the concrete out of the cracks and crevices of the stonework so it can bring out the color and so you don't have like a concrete fog over it. This in particular here is almost like an amethyst crystal and I don't, I don't want you know concrete into all these little cracks here. I want to see the crystal come through. So I'm going to be using this and while I do it I'm going to be putting on a mask because you guys you know, know me from my channel. I'm just a uh, real pansy. I, I just, I'm incapable of manning up. I know some people, you know, true Americans can, you know, go without a mask and, you know, it doesn't matter, dust or virus or, you know, lava can go into your lungs and you'll be totally fine. But, uh, yeah, I just, I don't have those superpowers, so I'm going to be using the mask today. Uh, uh, and I, I already kind of started up here. You can see it's a little bit cleaner here, a little more foggy here. And you'll see why I'm wearing the mask for this job. It's just there is so much of this fine dust and you definitely don't want to get this kind of stuff into your lungs. I'm just going to work on this stone right here, and you get a sense not only of how much dust comes off, but how you really start to see the color come through by using this brush. Now there's, there's other ways of doing it. I've been using old jeans to do this uh, earlier. I was using just a plastic brush, but the, the metal bristle brush really works a heck of a lot better than anything else. Uh, my dad's also here today. Uh, he's helping uh, get the well going, getting the electricity running to the well pump so we can start getting some water here. Once I get water here and we can get some compost delivered, I can bring all those trees, those bare root trees here, and I can start planting them here, getting them established into the soil. The only holdup on that was just getting you know, the, the well pump going so we could easily water them here. And also the uh, uh, landscaping company, uh, another medical emergency, uh, a family member had to be rushed to the hospital and I found out later that's why I haven't heard from them in a month. So uh, they're getting over that now and they're ready to kind of get back to work and everything. So it's just yet another one of the crazy things that's been going on with this project. But they should be delivering the compost so I can uh, be putting those trees in pretty soon as well. And I will obviously share that process to you when we get there. That's it. Thanks for watching.